Becoming a battle of the bezels for laptops here at CES 2019. Uh, everyone's trying to thin down that bezel as much as possible, but I think we might have found a winner here. This is the Asus ZenBook 13S, and it is claiming a 97% screen to body ratio. So in other words, that screen is taking up 97% of the space, which you're seeing here, and that is the highest number we've seen so far. Now we're really getting to the point where thinner bezels are maybe making a millimeter smaller, millimeter smaller at a time. So you might wonder about how much that matters, but if you're really a stickler for design or for screen quality, a really thin bezel is gonna be really nice. And I'll tell you, you can notice if you put this notebook next to something that has a thin bezel, but not this thin, you're gonna notice a difference. It really looks beautiful. Now there is this one little compromise that had to be made here to get that bezel to work and that is this inverted notch at the top of the screen. The notch, right? You've heard about them on smartphones, they're infamous and uh, they no, no one wants to put a notch into the screen on a laptop but some are going the other way um, and actually making it kind of a weird little feature because hey if you got that notch there uh, well now your laptop's really easy to open which is actually a big deal for some people so that is a little bit of a compromise but it doesn't seem like it's too big of a deal probably won't be a big hassle and it does mean you can have the webcam up top and you don't have to deal with a nose cam now otherwise ZenBook 13s is going to be a mainstream ZenBook and you know, just looking at it, like this is a thin and light system with premium build quality, but it's probably not gonna have a ex too extravagant of a price. Price has not been announced, but it sounds like it's gonna be pretty similar to other uh, ZenBook 13 models. And getting this system so small and thin with the thinner bezels and whatnot, you might think they would have to compromise the keyboard or the touchpad, but that doesn't seem to be the case at all. Uh, this is a definitely just a regular travel uh, keyboard. Nothing unusual about it. Feels good. You're not going to have any issues with this touchpad. You know, the only thing that's a little weird here is they sometimes Asus likes to put the fingerprint reader into the service here. And I don't know, that can feel a little weird if you're going up in this corner of the screen, um, but not a huge deal. Also, it's just, it's really nice looking. Um, ZenBooks tend to be really nice looking in general. Uh, and this one is gone for, uh, it's, it's actually, I would say returning to a sharper, starker, very modern look. Some of the more recent ZenBooks, they did round the edges a little bit. And this one though, very sharp edges all around. Uh, and you, you still have the concentric circle etching in the lid, um, which is a Asus trademark there. So it just, it just looks really nice. Um, all things considered, you know, the ZenBook 13, we've liked it over and over again as a reasonably affordable champion. You know, it's a system that is going to do everything you need to. It's gonna look good and it's gonna have some nice features, but not at too crazy of a price. As far as we can see, this new ZenBook's going to keep that going. Also, Asus says you're gonna get up to 15 hours of battery life. And that's, you know, that's great too. It means it's gonna be very, very portable. We've already seen 13 hours from the previous model. So if this has any improvement on that, uh, 15 hours might not actually be an unrealistic expectation. Now as for the specifications of the display, it is a 1080p display and we haven't heard about a 4K option. Uh, so, you know, that might disappoint some people, but we're actually pretty okay with it. Main reason for that is the last Asus ZenBook 13 we tested with a 1080p display was like really, really, really good. So, uh, yeah, so it's not as sharp as 4K, but by every other metric, it scored extremely well. Probably this one's gonna do similarly. It definitely looks really good at a glance. So, uh, we suspect it's quite a good display. Some other specifications to know about is you're gonna have your Intel eighth generation core processors, up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. There's gonna be options for NVIDIA GeForce MX150 graphics as well. That's not exactly gonna make it a gaming machine, but if you do wanna be able to play, you know, some games now and then with the system, that is something you're gonna be able to option up to. 
Overall, it is pretty well specced for an affordable 13 inch system. Now again, Asus is not confirming the price on this system yet, so we don't have that information, but we do know that it's gonna be coming out this March and we're really eager to get our hands on it. This could be another affordable laptop champion.